We are proud to have four pieces of legislation signed into law, including the incredible accomplishment of banning vaccine passports in the state of Texas. 周六在德州有数百民众集会，反对联邦政府强制接种疫苗。现场也有心脏病学博士出席支持。If you are a doctor, a nurse, a respiratory therapist, rather than waiting for them to strike at you and threaten your job, go on strike. 一位父亲的儿子则是在接种完疫苗后逝世，让他心痛不已，并表达对政府失去信心。My son received the vaccine, and he died a few days later. Look down at your child. It's not worth the risk. I love the hell out of my country, but I don't trust my government anymore. 除了接种疫苗，医生艾米·奥福特也讲述他使用 FDA 批准的药物，通过自己的护理计划，成功治疗 COVID-19 患者的案例。My practice has treated approximately 1,200 acutely ill patients, as old as 98 years old. We have less than 20 hospitalizations and zero deaths for patients if they presented before the seventh day. So why isn't this information spreading like fire? 在 FDA 周一正式批准辉瑞 COVID-19 疫苗之后，也引起企业或校园进一步推动疫苗强制令的担忧。共和党参议员罗恩强生对批准前并未事先召开正式咨询委员会提出质疑，认为联邦机构应该花更多时间观察疫苗，并向美国公众提供更多有关疫苗有效性的讯息。新唐人亚太电视唐杰安整理报道。